All right. So the outer darker region. What was the name here again? Cortex. 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 Good job. Remind me of what is found in the cortex. Yes, Dorel was listening. The Bauman's capsule. Going away from the, the cortex, we'll find here. These, these are pale pyramids. What is this? The medulla. The medulla, right? The medulla. Remember, we said that the medulla is made up of conical medullary pyramids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them going around. It houses the other parts of the nephron too. It's coming away from the medulla. What do I find? Starts with P. The pelvis, right? Nobody's listening. It's not as I want to say. <laughs> the pelvis, right? And the pelvis is where the collecting tubes will empty out which will go into the ureter in here. You'll find the renal artery coming down from the aorta and it will branch into what? The, the, the glomerus. No, it will before it gets to the glomerus, what it will branch into? Renal Miss, arteries? Miss okay. arterioles. Yes, Tyrese, I know you know it. Arterioles, which will branch into... It's a glomerulus. Which, which will sit where? In the Bowman's capsule. The Bowman's capsule. Wonderful. Find me of what were some of the solutes or products that would be filtered from the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule? Glucose. Glucose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Water. Yeah. Yes. Good job, Tyrese. What else? Vitamin, we have the amino acids, water, salts, urea. I said some nitrates. And yes, yes. And that process is called ultra filtration. Next comes selective reabsorption. And these processes are going to occur as we move away from the Bauman's capsule. Right? Can you tell me what the body is going to tend to hold on to? The useful substances, useful substances, useful substances like glucose, amino acids, right? And what is, what is it going to kind of eliminate? It's urea and nitrates and harmful substance. Right. Toxins. Remember, as you move away from the Bowman's capsule, we find some convoluted tubules. Which one is nearest to the Bowman's capsule again? It's proximal. Proximal. What, do, what does the proximal convoluted tube reabsorb again? Ions and nutrients. Ions and nutrients. And a little water. Not much. Right? It also removes toxins and adjusts the blood pH. Right? As we move away from the proximal convoluted tube, we find the U-shaped organ. What is the name of the U-shaped? Not organ. The U-shaped structure or the U-shaped tube. Mr. Loop, Loop of Henley. Loop of Henley. And um, can you remind me the two types and what they do? So you have ascending and descending, right? So we find that the, um, they do two important things. One side absorbs sodium from the filtrate and another side has special proteins that reabsorb water. Can you tell me which is which? Ascending as um, iron, descending as um, water. Yes, yes. Water is exclusively absorbed or reabsorbed in the descending loop of Henley. As we move away from the descending loop of Henley, we're going nearer to um, distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct, right? The distal convoluted tubule also selectively secretes what the body does not want. Like they also reabsorb the different ions that the body would need. What comes after the distal convoluted tube? No, what structure is next? It's collect it's the, 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 the collecting duct. 
<laughs> right. And remember, I said that the collecting doc is not exclusively involved in just collecting what is now called urine. And the collecting duct and the distal convoluting tube, they are controlled by what hormone secreted from the pituitary? ADH. ADH in what process? Put the icing on the cake. In what process? Mr. Selective Reabsorption? Nope. Starts with O. Oh, osmoregulation, Miss? Osmoregulation. And that is all you need to know for your examination. You guys did exceptionally well. On Friday, when we return, it's strictly the process of homeostasis and revision for your upcoming examination. All right. Any questions so far? <laughs>